How is it, Baning? Yummy. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Sabado's Kitchen. Today, we are making donuts. This sweet confection is not only a hit to kids, but to those young at hearts too. Let's start with the ingredients. We will need 4 cups all-purpose flour, 1 cup milk, 2 eggs, 1 fourth cup sugar, 2 teaspoons of yeast, 1 fourth teaspoon salt, 1 of teaspoon vanilla, 1 fourth cup butter. First is combine all the dry ingredients. Start by mixing the all-purpose flour and sugar followed by the yeast and salt and make sure to mix well. You can actually use a mixer if you have, however in this case we didn't have one. Pour the milk in a saucepan and warm it up. You can also put it in, in the microwave to heat it up just enough to melt the butter and blend together. Now pour the milk in a saucepan or in this case a bowl and add in the butter. Make sure that the milk is hot enough to melt the butter. Once the milk and butter is incorporated, add in the eggs and the vanilla. Time to mix the dry ingredients with the wet ones. In a large bowl, put in the dry ingredients and make a well, then add in the wet ingredients, then mix them all together. Continue mixing until well incorporated. Then time to use your hands. Knead the dough until it's elastic. Make sure to have some flour next to your working space if in case it gets too sticky. The flour would help ensure that it doesn't get messy while kneading the dough. You can tell that the dough is ready once it feels soft and pillowy. Once the dough is ready, apply some oil onto the bowl and put back the dough and cover with a wet towel or a cling wrap. We need to put the dough in a warm container for it to proof. Leave the dough to proof for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, sprinkle a bit of flour in your workspace and bring out the dough. Knead the dough a little bit more and with the use of a rolling pin, flatten the dough to prepare it for shaping.
once you have achieved the desired thickness of your dough, time to cut our donuts into shape. Just a tip, if you don't have any donut or cookie cutter, you can use your drinking glass at home or anything that is about that size. Make sure to cut your shapes as efficient as possible. Don't worry about the excess dough as we can knead them again and flatten to make shapes. Once you have created your shapes, you have the option to take the shape dough as it is or get a smaller object to put holes in your donuts. Besides, donuts wouldn't be donuts without holes, right? Here we used icing pipes to cut our small donut holes. Just go through all the shapes making sure that you're putting the hole right in the middle of each cut. For the small cut dough, you can either knead them back with excess dough or use them as is to come up with munchkins. Now carefully remove the excess dough and the shaped donuts and transfer them into a parchment paper or a non-stick tray. Then we can either proceed to fry our donuts or cover them with cling wrap as we shape the rest of our dough. Another tip, you can get creative and do not just limit it to donuts. You can come up with any shapes you want. If you have any heart shaped container, you can also use that. Or you can even make twist bread rolls and pretzel shapes if you are creative enough.
time to heat up that pan and add oil for frying. It's best to use a pan with a heavy bottom to ensure consistency of heat cooking the donuts. Start by putting the heat on high and then set it to medium. You can test how hot the oil is by putting in the munchkins and how quickly it turns into golden brown. Make sure not to overcrowd your pan. Put in about 4 donuts at a time depending on how big your pan is. As usual, the munchkins are easier to cook as they are smaller. Make sure to keep an eye on your donuts as they can get brown very fast. Usually 1 minute is enough to cook each sides. Once the donuts are cooked, take them out of the pan and put them into a wire rack to prepare them for glazing. You can sprinkle it with sugar and eat the donuts as is or you can put a simple glaze. <laughs> for our donuts, we are using a couple of simple glaze. First glaze was melted chocolate bar. You can have a normal Cadbury Dairy Milk chocolate bar or any bar you want. All you need to do is to put it in the oven and melt it for glazing. The white glaze is a combination of a quarter cup of full cream milk and two cups of icing sugar. Use a whisk until glaze is smooth. When dipping the donuts into the glaze, make sure that the donuts are well cooled and that can be handled to ensure that the glaze sticks to the donuts and then put them back to the rack.
after dipping the donuts in the glaze, it can be served as is or you can take it up a notch by adding some toppings. You can put your favorite M&Ms, crinkles, ground nuts, cheese or any toppings you want. If you like this video, please click on subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updates on future videos. Hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment also below. Donuts are best had with milk or in my case, coffee to complement the sweetness of this yummy confection. Enjoy!
นะเฮ้ยเจ็ดเฮ้ยเจ็ดเฮ้ยเจ็ดเฮ้ยเจ็ดเฮ้ยเจ็ดเฮ้ยเจ็ดเฮ้ยเจ็ดเฮ้ยเจ